Definitely be be the best on it. Okay. Actually, you know what? I think it blended in with my poison, uh, my poison flower. Oh well. Not the end of the world. I mean, we got a ton of XP from it, and we already got the green hearts back, so... Literally not even a worry in the world, dude. I, d I would love to... Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It's Lodi's here, back with another Nordic Ashes run. Hopefully, you all have enjoying the content. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button below. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts. I do greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's jump right on into this. We're going to go back and play some Midgard with Amaranth and see if we can continue on making some progress over here. Um, we're going to run hard and uh, just try and catch a couple of dubs and see what, uh, see what the plan is. Um... I think I want to try out the poison boyos and um, maybe this guy as well. Fire. Fire boys. Damage. Area could be a good one. Damage and area could be good. And of course more summons as well. But we're going to try this out see how this goes. <clears throat> I do love the flowers though. Flowers is always good. Um, I am going to of course get... Um, the we're gonna go double um ascensions on the flower so the ivy the main uh the main pal here we're gonna go so probably gonna get to the point where like we literally could stand still once again so it's gonna be a interesting interesting run i feel like i mean we are on hard but I don't, I don't think it's going to be that hard with the way uh, she plays. So we will see. We will see. Okay. Um, I'm going to make my way... Let's go to the attack speed shrine here. Pick you up. We got attack speed and damage, which should be pretty good. Let's run up to the ascension um, boyo. Um, but we'll pick up whatever else is on the way. Oh, this is actually pretty good. You throw a poisonous mushroom for what we're kind of kind of running. Um, drops potions, turn to green potions. Like that one still seems crazy to me. Maybe we'll take this one this time though, since we we didn't take it in the last run. I don't think we took either of these in the last run, so <clears throat> we can definitely dump some points into those. Um, so I, I want to run the. Uh, let's run this one, so we can run this one. Um, increase the damage of non-summoning relics. I think we took this one. I might take this one just to take it. Because we haven't taken anything yet for this. Um, is what I'm thinking. But the problem is with Amaranth, everything's summoning. So, like, our non-summoning relics are gonna be, like, the, like, this mushroom here that we pick up. Like, this is a non-summoning relic. It just... Basically, the stuff that pops up down here is our non-summoning relics, because literally all of Amaranth's abilities, weapons, relics, <clears throat> are summoning, so... A little bit of a downfall there. So I don't really want to take that one. I probably actually won't end up taking that one, even though that's just something that we'll probably end up taking eventually, just to, just to claim it, since we haven't claimed it yet, so... It's just... Just something I'm thinking of. Um, okay. Whatever. Plus the green heart, not the end of the world. Considering we're gonna get a green heart every every minute. Um, it should be pretty good. Um, we do have to probably level up Ivy here soon. We're not getting super overwhelmed, but we're starting to get uh starting to get there a little bit. So plus Ivy, like it brings XP back to us, so it's like, why why wouldn't we take it? You know what? I'll take the increased area. I definitely want more summons, though. Okay. I do want this one, but I think I'm going to go with this one for right now. 
Um, we could go cooldown. Why, not? Why the heck not? Why the heck not? Alright. I mean, increasing the poison mushroom might not be a bad... Might not be a bad idea. Might not be a bad idea. But, like, <clears throat> with this build and the lightning build of Half Grim, I think we could really make a crazy build to, like, farm seedlings. Like, I think we you could easily farm seedlings. Because, like, it kills a bunch of stuff that's, like, off your screen. So, like, I think you can make a crazy build where you just, like... Like, Half Grim, you go... You go freaking lightning, of course, and then this one you just run max ivy, and I think you'll be you'll be perfectly fine. Cause like ivy already farms a boatload of XP. So we're back to thirteen, or back to four. Four points. Ooh, let's let's pick this up. Oh, that actually hit us. Okay. Not the end of the world. Like, you could almost farm uh, green hearts for the XP because we actually got a decent chunk of XP there. Got a decent chunk. Nothing too crazy, though. Because like, there's another green heart. Like, we get one every minute. Which is pretty good. One is its XP. And two, it's, um, it's health. <clears throat> so, like, you almost can't go wrong with it. The 25% chance of it being a green potion, though, is, I think is pretty good, too. Like, either or is pretty, pretty good. But this one, it's, like, a guaranteed. But then again, you get, depending on what build you go, like, you can get a lot of potions on the ground. So, I mean, like, even then, like, the 25% potion chance to be a green potion is pretty good too. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> let's go damage. I mean, area probably would be better. Let's go. Let's go damage. Okay. Trying to get as much gold as we can for these route for the uh, shops. Oh, got hit. Okay. We could also do a shop where we don't buy anything. To continue working towards that character. But what is what's what's the fun in that? What is the fun in that? Okay. I keep getting confused sometimes that the poison guys are my enemies, so I try to avoid them and I'm like I don't need to I don't need to avoid them. Okay, let's get this guy going. Um, yeah, I'll take that one. And then I definitely want damage and summons. Uh, you know what? Cooldown and summons works. Um, I definitely want to throw a point into this and go this. This one is like a no-brainer. Increase the movement speed by 25% attack speed. I actually think I took attack speed in the last one. So maybe we'll go movement speed this time. Okay. Um, and then we'll grab this guy. Actually, I think we already got that guy. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Definitely increased our movement speed by a lot. Especially where it guarantees, like, we get a green heart. Like, you can sort of game that, especially with, like, attack speed and stuff, too. Like, we could take another green heart here. We could take the 50% uh, cooldown. Breaks if you take damage. Sure. Why not? Why the heck not? Um, grants a blue heart? Sure. Ooh, I should have took the 25 gold first. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, let's see what, what this guy does. Grow three flowers grow around the main flower. Transfiguration. The main flower becomes a fire or a poison flower that deals times two damage. Ooh. So us going these two is actually really good when you run... Uh, that one on Ivy. So let's do this. This. Sure. Okay. Let's 
from this. Ooh, I definitely want to max out damage and cooldown along with these two. I want to freaking max out everything. I want to max out everything. <laughs> like, why the heck not? Why the heck not? Oh, that is cool. Okay, that's different. I don't know exactly what it does. Does it mean that, like, stuff that walks on it takes poison damage or fire damage? That's what it looks like. It spawns and it does burn damage. <clears throat> or poison damage. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, ooh, a poison ring? That's actually really good for the build that we're doing. bad. I mean, we're sitting in a pretty good spot. Damage is a little, little on the weaker end, but I mean, we're still doing pretty good. Okay. I mean, the XP definitely slowed down quite a bit. But I mean, like, we're not sitting in a, a bad spot. You know what? Let's run to something else while we're waiting to get to the, enough XP for that. Basically, we can't get hit, or else we lose that 50% cooldown. Okay. Ooh, I don't like this position. Um, let's increase our damage. We definitely need that. Ooh, okay. Okay. Not bad. Definitely got a little, little scurry there. Just a, just a wee bit scurry. Um, we'll grab this. We'll make our way down here. Ooh, XP attraction. I'll take that. I will take that for sure. Um, I mean, we're sitting at max hearts. I would love to take a hit, but I also don't want to take a hit. Because we take a hit, we lose that 50% cooldown. I mean, if we do, it's not the end of the world, but I'd rather not get hit if possible. I wonder if the non-summoning relics, like, if, if our, like, poison damage there counts as, like, a... I, I think it would count as a summoning, because, like, we summoned the, uh, the little, the little guys. Okay. Not doing bad. The XP still feels a little weak, though. I mean, we're sitting in a pretty decent spot. Oh, almost got hit there. Okay, let's run up. Oh my gosh, dude. My little guys are scurrying me. Oh, burn damage is pretty good. As well. For our little green pepper dudes. I do like the shooters. The shooters are so good. The shooters are phenomenal. I did really like the shooters. Because they, they did some work, man. Like, the wave clear is just unstoppable. Okay. We got 12 points. I'm gonna pump them into, like, some of this stuff. I mean, more summons would be nice with damage. Cooldown and summons works for that guy. Um, just because, like, the more summons, the better off we'll be for, like, the wave clear-wise. Which is where I was definitely struggling a little bit. So... Cool, so we got that now. Um, and we should be able to get enough levels, I think, to make our way back up here. Because we only need five. We're at three. I mean, I'm sure we'll get it here by the time we get up there. We're pretty dang close to it. Yeah, we need five points. We're already halfway there, so we should get it here. Yeah. Too easy, dude. Too easy, dude. Okay. Not bad. Um, I guess let's run over to the mine, pick up what the mine has, and then we have the attack speed alter. Oh, we got hit. We lost our cooldown. Okay. I didn't see that guy there. He blended in with like the tree. Eh, that's not the end of the world. Uh, we have three that will increase our damage and then our cooldown. Um, let's do this guy first. 
area could be okay. Same with damage and cooldown. I mean, that's definitely the best damage and summons. Definitely the, be the best on it. Okay. Actually, you know what? I think it blended in with my poison, uh, my poison flower. Oh well. Not the end of the world. I mean, we got a ton of XP from it, and we already got the green hearts back, so... Literally not even a worry in the world, dude. I, d I would love to get... Like, we are super... Not super speedy, but we got some speed on us with all the green hearts. Um, I would love to get more gold somehow, because 26 gold just does not seem like enough to me. Um, we are so fast. Like, this guy has nothing on our speed, dude. Except that. That could really, uh, hinder us a, a wee bit. Um... Yeah. Um... Every time I play her, I'm like, I'm not worried at all, because she just, she just seems so strong. I mean, I feel like that with a couple of characters. Like, of course her. Also, um... Fyra's pretty good. Same with Hansi. Um, and a after him, of course. Um, creates a freezing area around us. Eh, let's take this guy. Uh, I mean... This could be pretty good. Why not? Um, damage and attack speed, sure. And we can't really take any of that. That's okay. Um, every 0 0.26 seconds, an area of poison will appear, damaging, dealing damage to all enemies. Okay. Chilies create a pool of fire every one second that deals damage. Ooh, that seems pretty good. I mean, they both spawn pools. Oh, that's every one second. This is every 0.26. I'm going to take you for right now. See how you do. Let's max this out. Um, let's juice this up, since this is our max guy right now. Let's juice this up, and then uh, we'll try and max out these two and the chilies, and then, uh, of course, take the ultimate, because the ultimate's pretty crazy once you spawn everything in. So, holy crap. They're like puffer, uh... Yeah, th th these guys are crazy. The poison... I mean, I bet you the fire one's just as crazy, to be honest with you. Because every one second, compared to every 0.26 seconds, I mean, both of them are... That's a, that's a pretty pretty crazy time uh, for spawning uh, an uh, area of effect that's a dot. Like, that's, that's pretty good. I would think. Absorbs all damage from a hit, heals you... A red heart when it breaks. Okay, I mean, whatever. Whatever. I'll take it. I mean, not that we really need it. Because we're going to be full hearts when we go in and fight the boss anyways. I wish you could just continue gathering hearts. Like, just to have, like, 50 freaking hearts or something insane. Like, that'd be, that'd be nutty. I feel like Amaranth would be really good on, like, an endless mode. Like, to see how long you can last. Um. Halgrim, maybe, too. Um. Maybe even. Maybe even Helga with, uh. With hair? I would think, maybe? I don't know. Maybe we'll have to try it, uh, with those characters, uh, one of these times on uh, a few of these maps. I know that there's a couple that we need to run, like, uh. A couple, uh, I think, I think it's, it's either Ragnarok or Nightmare Mode. So we can try something like that, uh, eventually. But we are getting a little... A little crazy. Okay. Oh, almost got hit there. Okay. Five damage. I mean, there's nothing else on the map, really, for us. Other than running around trying to pick up XP. Uh, we got 12 points. That's maxed. I really want to... Let's get at least a point in this. Um, damage and summons, yes. Cooldown works. I mean, cooldown and attack speed might work. Um, I don't know. They're, they're just like... The little chilies are like suicide bombers. They just run and blow up. 
Okay. I'm definitely thoroughly enjoying this game. I know that you guys could probably tell because that's all I've uploaded the past like month is this game. And I have like 26 episodes of it, so it's it's pretty actually probably at the time of recording this probably closer to 30 episodes. Um but yeah, if you guys have been enjoying it as much as I have, make sure you guys tap the like button down below. Um, subscribe if you guys enjoy this content. I have several other uh, types of content just like it. Um, I have uh, Zombie Survivors on the channel, a couple other games um, as well that are uh, basically Horde Swarm Survivors. Um, I definitely enjoy them. Um, so if you guys end up liking it, make sure you guys tap the like button. Go check out the other series as well. Um, you guys can also... Uh, Tap the subscribe, or not the subscribe button, the bell notification down below. Help you guys get notified when a new video goes live. I do upload every single day. Um, times may vary. Uh, recently, they've been 10 o'clock um, at the time of recording this, but uh, they could always change depending on uh, when everybody decides to watch the videos. So, But hopefully y'all are enjoying the content. Um, we will be getting back to the variety content here soon. Um, I've just been super zoned in on this game thoroughly enjoying it um and it's easy to record like a quick easy 20 minute run and like it's just easy peasy so that's 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 also another thing that i like about it so i can sit down and bang out like i don't know five or six of these in a row and then it's just like cool all i need to do is edit and whatnot so this will probably be a pretty pretty quick kill i would, I would like to think um, so I'm not really too worried about this. Um, not as quick as the other one that we ran, but I, I would say it's definitely close-ish. Oh crap, I forgot he spawns these, uh, in this mode. But we are super quick. Um, I don't think he'll have another shield mode. He might. Too bad you can't destroy the shield like you can with, the uh, Astrid's. Okay. Yeah, he's dead. Too easy, dude. Too easy on hard. Use the Skog Poison Area Ascension. Sweet. So that was that was Ivy. Ivy's not bad. Ivy is not bad. <clears throat> not bad. Um, we probably got a good chunk of these guys now. <clears throat> Seventeen. Not bad. Um, I tempted to work our way down here to get revives, just so we don't have to worry about uh, dying. Um. Reduce the damage received by minions by zero. Minimum damage half a minimum damage received is half a heart. <clears throat> Potions will make you invulnerable for a brief time. Oh wow. Okay. Twenty five. Oof. Got expensive quick. But yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was Nordic Ashes. If so, make like once again tap that uh, like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys um in the next video. Peace out.